Very pleased to be joined now by Ohio State head football coach, Ryan Day. Coach, we have to start by talking about the unusual times that we are in, and I know you've been very active in the fight against COVID-19. You donated to the Mid-Ohio Emergency Fund a significant amount of money, along with your athletic director, Gene Smith, and basketball coach, Chris Holtman. You recorded a message about mental health awareness during this challenging time that has had several hundred thousand views. Aside from football, because of the magnitude of what you do and the fact you're in the spotlight, how do you see your role at a time like this? Uh, yeah, thanks, Dave. First off, I just want to uh, you know send out my condolences to all those who have lost loved ones and uh, send out our gratitude to all those who are uh, you know fighting this virus uh, on the front lines, the medical personnel and uh, first responders and <clears throat> putting their health at risk. Um, it means a lot to all of us. Uh, I, I think, you know, Buckeye Nation, you know, so much of, you know, our identity is being part of this family. And certainly football is a huge part of that. And so, you know, we just appreciate so much of what the community feel is on this, not just in Columbus and Ohio, but throughout the country. And so trying to, you know, have those conversations and pull everybody together and just Think about when we get through this, getting back together again, and just talking about how we're all in this thing together and we need to pull through. From a football point of view, you guys missed out essentially on all of spring practice. I know you had a, a couple of sessions at the very beginning, but what are the particular challenges as a coach for, for missing out on that time with your team? Yeah, I mean, this spring's been very challenging. Uh, we're going through into a, like a new norm. And I think we have to continue to figure out what this new norm is going to be. I think life in general is probably going to be very different moving forward. And so we have to adapt. I don't think it's just one day we're just all going to go back to normal. I think it's going to be a gradual thing that we all have to work through. But this spring, it's been about uh, trying to keep our guys on a routine, kind of trying to keep some structure in their life. This generation is very used to constant feedback. And they've had a lot of people surrounding them that are very good at what they do and, and kind of telling them what to do. And so, uh, you know, we have to try to keep that, you know, we're relying a lot on the parents. We have great parents. And, um, and so, we, you know, the first concern is the health and safety of the student athletes and their families. And then, you know, what are we doing on a daily basis to make sure that we're finishing the, the academic year strong, uh, making sure that everybody stays safe, but then also uh, in the workouts, um, doing what they can to stay in shape. Uh, everyone's different. That's the challenge, too, is it's very unique. We have guys from all over the, the country. Uh, we have guys from Hawaii, New York, Seattle, California, Texas, Florida. And so each guy's in a unique situation in their own home. And, uh, and everybody's in a shelter in place really now. So um, the, the position coaches are doing a great job of tailoring their day-to-day -day structure based on where they're at and what position they're in. Ultimately, are there lessons that you want the guys to take from this time, again, kind of above and beyond football? Yeah, I mean, our culture, um, the term we use is fight, which means fight to be the best version of yourself. And part of that is when you're doing that is, you know, where are you doing that? And, you know, for us, it's the true test of the character and whether you're going to be the best version of yourself is when nobody's watching or when everyone's watching. You know, there's a lot of conversation we have with that, but this is the true test of that because they don't have the influence of the coaches. And so we can come out of this thing stronger and more self-sufficient if we use this to our advantage and we push ourselves. Coach, I know recruiting is going extremely well. The websites, national websites, have you ranked as the number one class in the country right now. In these unusual circumstances, how have you been able to maintain that momentum? And what are the particular challenges of recruiting in this environment? Yeah, well, the challenges are, are you know, that February was dead. And so there was nobody on campus visiting. Uh, and then, you know, we only had a, you know, really a week, you know, we went on spring break. And then before you know it, we were in quarantine. So we haven't had very many people on campus, um, you know, in the, in the 2021 class. So that, that has been a challenge. But the good news is we started recruiting so early with, with this class that so many of them already had been on campus. And then we're doing the best we can to stay in touch and, uh, and having constant communication, doing, um, you know, virtual meetings and things like this to try to help with that. Um, but I think just the fact that we started recruiting some of these kids so early, um, it hasn't been that detrimental to recruiting, but it, it is certainly a challenge. One of the biggest question marks surrounding this right now is what it would take to get college football back up and running again. From your point of view, how much time do you think you would need 
from when you started working with your team to getting them to a point where they'd be ready to play a game? Yeah, we, we've had some really great talks in the conference calls that we have once a week with, with the coaches. And uh, Pat Fitzgerald's been, you know, um, you know, a real big advocate just for the coaches to have some of these conference calls and talk it out. And uh, Commissioner Warren's doing a really good job of, of um, you know, communicating with us. But um, the, I think the starting point that we had a conversation with was about six weeks. And, um, and then it, that it kind of goes from there. But there's so many unknowns. Uh, we're in a very different place than we were a month ago. And in a month from now, we'll be in a very different place as well. And so uh, I think that's the, that's the starting point. That's where the focus should be is return to play. And I think once we go from there, we can kind of branch out some of our conversations. But, yes, yeah, six weeks was kind of the, the, the starting point, And then we'll keep talking about it as time goes on. Ryan Day, head coach of the Buckeyes. Coach, really appreciate your time during what is a challenging period for everyone. And best of luck to you here going forward. All right. Thanks, Dave. Be safe. You do the same.